Welcome to Katie Moonchild's world. I'm Katie. And I bet you're wondering why there's two decks on this table that are the same deck. One's small and one's large. I'll tell you why. Here we go. This is a card reading. Card reading. Card review. <laughs> yeah, I do lots of card readings. I have lots of cards to choose from. <laughs> this is a card review of a deck that I bought a year ago. Probably a year and a half ago. From Amazon that I thought I was getting this. And I got this. Which led me to a whole live stream on knowing a fake what is legitimate and what is not. I won't go into that today because I do have a whole video on it, a whole live stream on it, as a matter of fact. Um, I will definitely make sure that it's at the end in the end screen so that you can take a look at what I had to say about this deck when I got it. Okay, I should have known it was on sale. It was a daily pick on Amazon and it was a ridiculously inexpensive price. Okay, when you look at the back of it, all there is is a barcode. Now I'm covering that with my thumb because it'll take you nowhere anyway. I've tried. Okay, I wanted the book to these cards because these are bootleg cards. There's no ISBN number and they yeah when you get a deck of cards that has no ISBN number on it and it has excuse me just a second my uh, computer's deck is finishing up saving something uh, if it has a uh, this on it and no ISBN number uh, look in the listing Amazon is now listing the ISBN number for legitimate decks. If it does not have that, be suspicious that it is copyright infringed and it is not legal to use on YouTube. Okay? That's why I have the little deck out. I felt as a writer, I am someone who supports copyright laws. You put your work into something, you don't want somebody to steal it, right? So this deck I will not be using anymore. I felt so bad. I want Barbara Moore and Christina Scagliotti to get the money for this and not this Chinese, Korean, or whoever who stole it off of wherever and then reprinted it and decided to sell it on Amazon. Now, I wrote Amazon a letter about this because I was angry. Amazon is a publisher. They know better. So, what did they do? Now they put the, if it's got an ISBN number, it's on the uh, listing. They don't stop listing this stuff. So, if you don't know to look for the ISBN number, which is this, is an ISB. There's your ISBN number. If you don't see this somewhere on the box, on the listing, don't buy it. Yeah, that's all I got to say. Okay, <laughs> let's look at these cards. I've had them for over a year and I want to show them to you. I want to use them. I'm so excited to get the legitimate version. Okay, so basically what I did was waste my money. On the copyrighted un, uh, copyright infringement version, yeah, on well, the bootleg version. Call it what it is. I was angry. I was very angry. There's a whole big chunk of a video all about that. It goes into knowing a legitimate card reader and who is going to solicit on Instagram. Who's going to solicit a card reading from you and how do they go about doing that? And legitimate card readers don't do that. They don't come to you and say, hey, you want a card reading? That doesn't work that way. So, usually they want you to contact them saying, will you give me a card reading? 
That's how I work. This is the wisdom. Sorry. Let me start this up again. Calm down, Jean. Calm down. This is the wisdom, Earth Wisdom Oracle. It's a beautiful deck. I've been using the bootleg one for myself a lot. Okay? And I have used it in readings. Um, I love the deck. It's gorgeous. So let's check it out. Here's your box. And the green doesn't, the green embossed, embossed, embossed title doesn't always show up well. There you go. And this is a Los Carabillo deck. Okay. Lots of Los Carabillo decks get stolen. I was shocked to see when I was looking for the guidebook for this that the One World Tarot has already been stolen. Now I know the creators of that deck. I know them personally. And that upsets me a great deal. But I knew that was going to be happening when I heard that it was being sold at Joanne Fabrics of all places. Congratulations on your success, ladies. This is the deck. Oh, how nice. It has the little ribbon to help you get in there. All the rest of the card uh, reviews I've done today. I did three. Didn't have that. <laughs> so, here we go. Let's get these out of here. This is the book! <laughs> I'm so glad to have this book! I wanted to read about the cards. They're gorgeous. Oh, okay. And it's this not going to be a big book because it's in several languages. This is a typical Los Carabio deck. Um, English starts on page seven. So what I will do, I have these little clips that I use. They're made for uh, quilting and those kind of projects. I used them in diamond painting, which I don't do anymore. Um, I have them to do. I just don't purchase them anymore. Um, I felt guilty about the microplastics issue. Anyway, let's look at this book. Earth Wisdom Oracle by Barbara Moore. Artwork by Christina Scagliata. Scagliati, sorry. Ooh, look at that labyrinth. I wouldn't mind walking that one. Isn't that pretty? Tells you a little bit about the Earth Wisdom Oracle. I'm using the cards. Tells you a little bit about the cards. Warning, do not ingest plants unless under the guidance of a trained professional. This oracle suggests working with the spirit of the plants rather than the physical plant. I didn't have it. See, I needed this book. I had no idea. I've been using this deck off and on for a year, and I had no idea that it had to do with plant healing. I'm all about plant healing. I love the herbs and the plants and what they do for us. Oh my goodness. Um, wow. Okay, then it talks about the dis different symbols. You've got the Celtic symbols, uh, when the Celtic cross, uh, the threefold spiral, and the heart. You have the Trachita. Trakitra, which is the unifying spirit of the Trinity, mm -hmm. nature, and goddess Bridget. The single spiral, which is growth, birth. I look at the single spiral, also represents time to me. Uh, the double spiral, which is graceful balance, and the five-fold circle. The four elements united by... An inner circle of love. And then we go into the cards. Number one is boundaries. And then I love it. It goes into plants. And what? See, I had no idea. And I love this. This is wonderful. Understanding, strength, creativity. There's no pictures to go with the cards. But that's all right. See, and this card has the bleeding heart. I was wondering why there's such pretty colors and pretty flowers and stuff on this deck. 
Hello. This is why. <laughs> Witch Hazel self acceptance. Hey. And it gives you this uh, crystal that goes with the card and with the earth plant. How cool. Comfrey, Crocus. Comfrey is responsibility. Crocus is inspiration. Yeah, it's the first car. It's the first flower of spring. It usually pops up through snow. Divine protection is Angelica. Awareness is Mugwort. Wow. Yeah, Mugwort even is supposed to help you with lucid dreaming and stuff, so it's appropriate that the stone is also a moonstone. This is quite, oh, this is really cool. Transformation is melanin. Melanin. Moline. I can't even read. <laughs> and amethyst is amethyst is the um, stone. Clarity. You have peppermint and fluorite. This is great. Oh, I'm so glad to get this book. I had no idea. I was just, I just intuitively read uh, according to what I hear from the card. So now it's interesting to have this book to go with it. You know, some card readers get decks, they see the book and they go, eh, and they throw the book, put the book aside, and they don't even crack the book. I have a lot of decks where I've never even opened the book, but that's because the deck speaks to me so loudly I don't need a book. This one I needed a book. I had a lot of questions. Oh, I'm so glad to have it. Divine love is the rose and rose quartz. Prosperity is the money plant. Huh. And Dendric adds agate. And that's our final card. There's only 32 cards in this deck. I wasn't aware of that. I mean, I, I guess I was aware of that. I hadn't really thought about it. Before. In the early 1990s, at a party, someone put a tarot deck in Barbara's hands. She held on tight ever since. <laughs> Barbara has been reading and writing about tarot and divination for as long as she can remember. She's published a number of books, tarot and oracle decks, and she is one of the most renowned authors on these subjects in the world. Barbara Moore. Christina Scagliotti, a young and talentous Italian illustrator, was born in Alba, Italy in the winter of 1985. She blends tradition and digital techniques in her art, and she now works in Turin as a full-time artist. That used to be my dream. I'm an artist. My dream is to work as an artist all day, just create all day. So then we go into it's the same stuff, but it's this looks like that's Italian. So that's our part of the book. The rest of the book is in different languages. So this part of the book. So usually what I do is I'll take these little clips like that and clip it in the book. Now if I'm gonna keep the book in the box, I, I don't do that. I'll just use regular <laughs> I can't think of the word. Bookmark! <laughs> Sorry. Oh, my word, Katie. I must be getting tired. It is the end of the day. It's evening for me. So let's take a look at these cards that have the pretty flowers that go with crystals. I'm so happy to have the legitimate real deck here. Ha! Huh. Get the plastic off. And to have them in the, a larger size, although I do like the size of that, they're really easy to shuffle. These are nice. They're really nice. Let's take a look at them. Look at the back. And the back is a Celtic knot with Tree of Life. Celtic Tree of Life. These cards, is it my imagination or is it just like dark? <laughs> just dark. It is just dark. I apologize. That's just how it is. It doesn't really help. Anyway, let's see if we can move it over here more in the light, maybe. There you go. Tree of 
Tree of Life. Okay. All right. Let's try it this way. We'll do it like so. Start from the back of the deck. See how dark that is. I don't like that. I'm so sorry. Let me hold them up for you. Prosperity. I can't hold all of them. Move it down here, maybe. There we go. It's still dark, but you can see them. This is the greenest green, and it's coming out black. I don't get it. I don't know why. I don't understand what's happening here. Oh, well. Prosperity, just divine love. Practical intuition. Let's see if I can get that to help a little. It's still. I'm sorry. Let me move it this way. It doesn't matter where I move it to. It's just dark. So you couldn't even see that design, that there was even those pillars back there, let alone. Yeah, I guess you could, but you couldn't see the design on them. Isn't that beautiful? So, we'll do this. Not sure. Blessed sight. The rose is down there. Stonehenge, divine light. Ivy. Sorry, joy. Where did I get ivy? Oh, beautiful. Truth. Silver fox book. Those are beautiful. Now, see, the flowers make sense on here. Hello. Heal thyself. I'm learning how to do that, and it's working. 23. Look at the big picture. Wow. how dark it goes as soon as I set that down. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's beautiful. Let's definitely go with the flow. Flow of the air. Flow of the water. That's why it's got the ducks flying. The flow is more than water. Flow is air. Healing green. Mm. Mm. There's your triple uh, spiral. like those flowers are like bubbles reaching up to the moon aren't those gorgeous oh my gosh and then we've got divine protection this is where the circles this was the triquintet I can't pronounce that where you have circles that lay over the top of each other mm. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Finger harp down here. I have a finger harp. A kalimba? Or is it kalimba or kimbala? Anyway, I can never pronounce it right either. Mm. So Taking on a challenge to get to the top. 
to reach your goal. Look at her. Isn't she pretty? See, this has got a shiny finish on these cards, so they really pick up my ring light. I apologize. He's talking to a frog and he doesn't have it. Kind of looks like an angry frog to me. Look at him. Got a frowny face. That's funny. Hmm, <laughs> freedom. Mm. The bleeding heart. Creativity. Mm, gorgeous. Strength. Understanding. Oh boy, is understanding ever a bridge? You know, that's what's going to have to heal this country. Yeah, and in the United States, it's what's going to have to heal us. The bridge, the comparison of the others. So we can't do that anymore. And our boundaries. Standing in a circle of crystals and the thought. The base of that cross is a very strong man. How beautiful. Thank you very much, you guys. Wow, let's test the quality of the cards. They're thinner. Let's give it the bend test. They cup a little. No, they do cup. But they straighten. So I shuffle both ways. Let's test the shuffling. And how do they shuffle? Let me lift up this again. You don't need to watch me shuffle up high. Close. There we go. Hi, everybody. Good to see you. Yeah, they shuffle beautifully. They're a small deck. Small decks, I mean, not thick as like there's a lot of cards. The cards themselves are large, but they're typical oracle size cards. Uh, compared to the other deck that I, the small one I was not talking about, that is the little bootleg deck. The cards are easy to shuffle because they're cheap. I'm glad to have this deck. Thank you very much, you guys, for coming and bearing with me while I set this set straight a wrong that I did that has been bugging me, bugging me, bugging me. Um, and maybe I educated you a little bit on how to avoid my mistake happening to you. Thank you very much for joining me for this walkthrough of the legitimate Earth Wisdom Oracle deck, and it does. I'm I'm calling it legitimate because I made the mistake of originally buying it in the bootleg form. Kind of a different skin, you say. Anyway, thanks for being here, you guys. I appreciate you so very much. You have no idea. If you like what you saw in this in my little rant, I'm so sorry. Uh, let me know uh, how you feel in the comments uh, about the subject and copyright laws and now that we're in an, an international uh, digital commerce, e-commerce world, how do we get by? How, what do we do with all the different copyright laws in all the different countries in the world? How is this going to work? How is this going to play out? I'm curious as a person who depends on those laws to protect me. 
as a writer. So, anyway, you guys, I love you all so much. Thank you. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up. You want to come back for more? I do card readings. I'm also a resin artist. So, I make kind of fun resin, resin-y things. Uh, it's a jar. Okay, it does open. Um, so, if you're interested in taking a look at what I do, heck, I'd love to have you join us. We're a pretty friendly community here. Um, it's not a giant community, so everybody has a lot of fun together. I appreciate you. Be kind to one another. But most of all, be kind to yourself. Take care of yourself. You are so special. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.